Let's see what's good. Take your pick. to hear you. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. How are you doing? How you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Calling to offer my condolences. Hmm. Offer your condolences. Why, Jesus Christovi, you lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, vi. Want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better to tell you the truth. What is happening? At night. When Jackie fell, let's just say things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life. And might need in the after. Sure, some beard be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. Want to take part in the ceremony, but want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket, that to do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. You won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mijo. He's gone and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. 
though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour, sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just, I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well, human. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set. What, you two didn't get that far? He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. Bell tolls. Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? It's a fine piece of metal in mechanics. He was so psyched. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there, yeah. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. 